Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the live stream. Just uh, loading into the game now. Bit of a different live stream tonight. I've gone solo. But we still have some of the guys in the chat keeping chat clean. So if you get a chance, thank them for uh, doing a good job, all the mods. Uh, so far we've got DJ Mental Farming Gamer. And by the way, thank you for your subscription on YouTube. Uh, Lewis Carr and probably a few other people filtering as the evening goes on. Uh, I thought we'd start this live stream tonight on NCS uh, playlist. Uh, probably swap it over to Base Rebels later on. Farm farming Gamer, um, like I've said three times now, unfortunately he was not at his computer when we tried to fix the problem. Um, he was... In the, he was actually out at the time and uh, I was trying to explain to him that what he was wanting to do isn't possible um, so we are going to look at it tomorrow hopefully and uh, I'm gonna sit down with him on discord and I'm gonna speak talk him through basically how everything works um, and then hopefully see if we can get it working I think what it is it's just a couple of the mods that he's got on there um, may not be activated properly um, or he's trying to you know activate a save game or something that that does not recognized by the server for the map etc it, it's 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 simple fix um, I've had I've had it on my server a few times where um, it can't start the server because of a, a server log issue but uh, yeah we'll work it out tomorrow and we will more than likely get it up and running for you guys tomorrow so tonight the idea of tonight's live stream is I'm going to be doing a bit of testing on Downland Farm version 2 which obviously you guys can't get hold of yet. Um, as I know, well as far as I know, um, uh, farming I'm not too sure whether he's going to jump onto mine or if I'm going to jump onto his. We are still going to obviously talk about that um, when he next contacts me uh, when he's free. Um, back to the back to the farm. I tell you what, might as well switch you guys over. And there you go. So as you can see, we're on the Dowland farm version two. This is the load screen. I'm ready to go. Um, I have been on the map uh, previously, just sorting a few things out. I'm for this episode or this live stream. I'm not going to run seasons purely because I want to test um, the combine harvesters and things with cosplay. Um, and if we were to start with seasons, unfortunately, there'd be nothing for us to harvest. So um, that's that's the plan of action today. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. So I think what we'll do is we'll probably uh, get straight into it. So basically, it's a map, as you guys know from the contest. Uh, it's based in Yorkshire, England. And I've been playing on it for a while now, even uh, the version beforehand. Uh, the version that is available on the mod hub uh, I've been playing on that for a couple a, a good few weeks now and I absolutely love it it's a fantastic map and this version 2 is even better uh, I'm not too sure farming you'll have to speak to uh, uh, farmer win about that he may even jump into my Discord where I can talk to him in my uh, in, t in my office where we can't get bothered. Conflict! Welcome to the stream, dude! Where have you been? We've missed you! <laughs> oh, you missed the last two streams, dude! I think. But it's good to see your name popping up. It really is good. Yeah, for those of you who are wondering, Lost Conflict is watching over on Twitch. So if there's anybody watching on Twitch, go ahead and uh, host the stream, that would be awesome. And if you can uh, follow us as well, that would be great. And uh, before we get in, uh, I'm just going to have a quick sip of coffee and then we shall load in. Right, so, coffee down. Let's go. Right then, as you can see... Uh, in the previous version of uh, Dowland, you used to um, 
You used to spawn at the train station, which is kind of that direction, and you had to make your way over here. However, now it's changed. We are spawn on the main farm, and this, according to the map, oh, you can't really see it properly. Um, I'll tell you what, we'll do this in a second. Do that. So we're here, the white dot, which is the main farm. Uh, that's where we've pretty much got most of our equipment. The field that we're going to be tackling today is field one and if we can get through field one in a decent enough time then we may jump onto uh, field five which is a canola field um, we'll run over and show you the uh, we'll run over and show you all the equipment in a second Yorkshire Dano welcome to the stream he says I see your subs are going up well yeah mate they are they slowly growing which is good Yeah, farming gamer. Unfortunately, rules apply. Different rules apply to different discords. Uh, obviously, if he asked me personally, then I may consider it. Um, although I do prefer to just work one on one, so then I can explain to him exactly how it works without any interruptions. So yeah, uh, let me just put all them back on again. So like I said, guys, I did go ahead and um, I didn't want to turn that off. I did go and give ourselves a little bit of extra money just to start with, um, purely for cosplay and things like that, because what I'm thinking in the next episode or the next live stream, once uh, we have finished using all these seeds, seeds and fertilizer, I'm going to look into getting a nice placeable somewhere on the farm where we can uh, just drive up past it with cosplay and we don't have to keep getting the um, pallets. Because I'm not the best driver when it comes to forklift trucks and things like that in the game. I, I make a mess of it. So yeah, one of the uh, the new additions to the Dowland Farm uh, V2 map is of course the silos. Uh, this is obviously where you'd come along and then you'd offload your grain and things into here. And then there's a new computer system type display. If you turn it on, it tells you exactly how much you've got in. Um, Uh, it tells you exactly how much of each uh, crop you've got in your storage. To open that, you just right click and it brings that over and then you can basically just dump it in and then when you're finished, you can close it up again so that it doesn't get wet, I assume. Uh, yes, Farming Gamer, that is the real Frithgar um, that is on my Discord. Unfortunately, it doesn't come on very often because uh, obviously with his situation at home and things with his, uh, his wife and the kids and stuff, he doesn't really get much time to uh, join up on the community and things, but he has been on a couple of times and uh, we have spoken a few times. I, I, I'm actually quite good, well, I, I, I like to say that we're quite good friends. We, uh, we talk on a regular basis on um, on him uh, on Facebook and things. So yes, uh, getting back to what Dano was saying, yes dude, I was getting a bit jealous today when you were sending me all those pictures and little videos and things like that but it keeps my uh, my passion for the dream of farming alive and I appreciate that um, so yeah I think that, like I said earlier the plan for today guys is we're gonna jump into the massive Ferguson 989380 Delta and we've got the I think it's the, I've got my notes here, the power flow 35 foot 10.7 meter header on there as well. Um, and like I said, we're going to head over and make a start on field one. So yeah, Martin, welcome to the stream. Martin Doyle, welcome. Uh, I have gone and put a couple of uh, sneaky little mods in uh, from the contest. And I noticed that we couldn't get this one around anymore, so I'm glad that I've still got it. This is the John Deere 3650, um, nice old school tractor, and that's currently sitting here with the water bowser, uh, not water bowser, fuel bowser, sorry. Uh, evening, Martin, evening, sir. And then obviously, like the previous version, those, that's your bunkers for your silage, uh, your manure heap, and then you've got your chickens and things in here. And then your cows are all kind of walk through from the shed there out across a the little water here and into the grazing land over there. 
Um, I've also gone ahead and bought... Does that look familiar to you, Dano? I've also gone and got us a Lely Welga, or Velga, the, the RPC 445 Tornado. So we've got one of those. <clears throat> That's to do the round bales and things. Um, and the rest of it really is what you what you start out with. So I've bought that. I've bought the John Deere. And then you get the bale shredder there for the bedding and you get the mixer wagon down there. And you can turn lights on and off. As you can see, Adam, Farmer YT, gets very happy when he starts playing around with lights and things. So you see your fertilizer. Uh, now you're probably wondering why we're starting off with uh, round bales and things like that. Well, Pro Farmer and Yorkshire Dano kind of sat down and they said to themselves, well, we're going to start the map off and when you load in, you're going to be given 30 cows straight away. So, when you load with seasons, obviously, you can't exactly just jump in a tractor and go and do some mowing and things like that to get yourself the bales that you require. So they've, they've been kind enough and, and they've supplied you with a decent amount of bales of straw and hay to kind of just get you guys going um, until you obviously can get the produce in. Um, I've gone ahead and bought a Massey Ferguson 8737 um, as well. That's a bit, of, I think that's nearly 400 brake horsepower at the moment. So that is going to be like a big, like a workhorse. Um, yep, yeah, it's sitting at 400 brake horse. So that's going to be our, like one of our main um, workhorses on this series. And then we've got the fence to fill in as well. So if he's out plowing in another field and we need another field plowing, we can use the 930 for that as well. But in, we've also been given the Fent, uh, I think it's a 313. I think, I think it's 130 brake horsepower. Uh, yeah, 138 brake. And then we've got the Fent Vario, the seven, I think it's a 724 that we've got. Uh, yep, yeah, and that's 240. Adam, uh, this my friend is the John Deere that was in the competition pack, uh, the contest pack for the uh, farm sim mod hub and it was taken down for some reason but I never deleted it out of my mod folder so we've got it. Uh, Martin says I uh, sent you a picture on discord okay dude I'll have a look at it when I uh, when I get it back onto there I mean I do have it up well it's open but it's minimized at the moment I'm not on discord um, so I thought well there's no point in me having it open so, like I was saying, the other thing I wanted to show you guys that just run around there quick, the other bit of equipment that we'll be using today is this one here, and that's the FarmTech TDK 1600, but it's a 15,000 litre. So this is basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to set cosplay up. So when this trailer is 100, uh, like 100% full, um, usually it would come and like deliver it and everything off like that, so it can. Uh, return to the field and things but what I'm gonna do is because the combine harvester has only got a capacity of I think it was 12 12,500 so 12,500 um, so what I'll do is I will set the driver to drive back on as in to drive on back to the farm when that trailer hits 12,500 so each time the combine harvester fills up to 100% then he'll obviously come back this way and uh, sort everything out. Um, just catch up a bit on chat. Farming Gamer, is there anywhere on your Discord that I can link Farmer Wins Discord? Uh, you'll have to PM DJ all that kind of stuff and then he will um, have a look at it and check it all out before he starts linking other people's uh, Discords and things like that. Okay, Martin, cool. Right, so what I'm gonna do is we might as well. I don't know if I wanna take, no, I wanna take this one. We'll take this fence down and we'll use this fence today to do the uh, the carting and things of the grain. Cause it's not a big tractor and it's not a massive trailer either. So one thing we'll have to remember is to lift up those, um, the shutters on the grain offload point before, um, 
we actually start doing any harvesting, otherwise cosplay won't be able to work with it. So yeah, this was one of the big questions that I did have for uh, Dano and Pro Farmer when uh, we did the map release, well not release, but we did the pre-release stream um, on the map. Uh, it was one of the one of the questions that I asked him was, is the map you know compatible with cosplay? And uh, he says it should be, it should work fine. So I just thought, well, we might as well, you know, after talking to Dano this morning, I thought, well, there's no better way to do it than to live stream and test it at the same time. Now, I'm not saying that they've not tested it themselves, which I'm sure they probably have. Um, but uh, how are we going to get this around the end? This is going to be a tight squeeze. I think we'll have to swing it this way and then make sure we don't hit anything on the way around. I think we're alright now. Straighten up and we should be okay. Oh, and for those of you wondering, the dog who's there, who runs up and down, you know, up and down here, kind of like in a big U shape around this barn and everything. He is a real dog in real life and his name is Max. And then the gentleman that walks around in here, this gentleman here, his name is John, and that is Pro Farmer Farty's father. So yeah, bit of his, a bit of uh, information on the map there. So right, we'll uh, like I said, we'll make our way, and are we gonna get this combine over there? Yeah, no problem. Look at that, no problem. Just gonna be a bit tight here. Might have to. Uh, just don't want to get the header caught. Yeah, we're all right. Miles of space there. Could have got a bus through. Cool, farming. Thanks, dude. DJ will look into that, and um, he'll uh, no doubt we'll we'll talk about it after the stream or where we want to put it. No, I don't want to jump in. That's the other one that I've got. The Toyota Hilux 2.8 liter. Right, so we'll get him on the follow me. Watch, he'll probably go and crash into something now. Okay, so that's fine. 20 meters is okay. And we'll go and make our way over to field one. Now, field one's just literally there, so it's not, not too hard to get to. Um, it's just that it might be a bit tricky when it comes to the traffic and things, but we'll, we'll, we'll see how we get on. So, yeah, guys. Lovely map. Um, a few features on the map that obviously I won't be able to show you tonight unless we get um, one of the fields harvested quick enough. Um, is I wanted to show you the multi-directional ground um, patterns and things. Um, so basically in Giants, when you plough a field, if you go around the circle, it'll, it'll only do it in 45 degree angles so if you went round in a full circle it it just looked like a square but now with the um, multi-directional um, like textures you can say it basically looks like a full circle um, and obviously like I said I will I will show you guys all this later on so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stop him there and then we need to go in here, but this is going to be a bit tricky. Uh, because the head is facing that way. Unless I... Okay, guys, I'm just going to... I can't help it. I really can't help that. Don't get hung up on the gate now. It's the last thing we need. Is that... I think that will be okay just there. Right, so we'll detach that there, and now this is the, the tricky bit, I think we'll go this way around. So yes guys, if there's anybody new in the community watching tonight, please consider uh, subscribing to the channel, because I uh, live stream six or seven nights a week. And, uh, oh man, 
I just wish it would work one day, just work properly. Oh, I hate this header trailer. Uh, I'm from Leeds, mate. I'm from Leeds. So I'm not too far from where this map is based. This isn't going to work, is it? Do you know what? To get rid of it for now, guys, I'm just going to have to do this. Garage and sell it. There you go. Out of our way now. But, uh, yeah. I think what it is, is the, the harvesters don't actually lift them up uh, high enough. Right, so we'll get that. Actually, you don't need to unfold it because cosplay will do all that for us. Now, I'm going to use cosplay tonight to do the combining. I don't want to do self unload. Put it in field work. And we're on 10.6, but I like to knock it down a slightly. So we'll put it on 10. Now we're on field 1. <laughs> Preston, yeah. No, I'm Leeds, mate. Just outside of Leeds. So we're in the northwest corner. And we want to go uh, south. Turn to first point means it'll come back to wherever it starts. And we want two headlands just to give ourselves space to turn and things trailer and header sold separately yes conflict they are they are neon wolf welcome to the stream welcome back you were in the stream the other night welcome dude how are you right so i think that's that sorted out so we'll do that go back to that one see first waypoint Oh, I don't want to click that one and that one. And we'll say drive. So this might not work because it... Yeah, it's not going to work because of the... And now this is the problem with cosplay. You go ahead and you destroy crops and things. What way is... Yeah, okay, so we want to kind of line it up a little bit for it. That's the thing with cosplay. You've got to... You've got to tease with, you know, like just tease it slightly to get it working properly. Sometimes it works straight away without any problems at all. <laughs> there we go. That's better. And we're off. I don't know why he's chose to go this way around. I didn't want him to go this way, but anyway, not to worry. And we will obviously collect all the straw and things and we'll make some bales out of it. So that's fine. Well, it, that tractor sat there is okay because he's kind of, uh, he's kind of just on our, on our own road. So it's not too much of a problem. Um, but yeah, I've just basically set this guy. I can show you the course like this. Uh, we started here, so he's going to drive around this entire course. And you're probably not going to see that because of chat, right? Um, but you can you can kind of see what where he's going. There's like the course um, and everything, and that that big line going right across the middle. That's to take me back to um, the starting point. But I think. We may have to stop it down at the bottom here because he may get a bit confused with that corner there because it, it's showing him just cutting, basically cutting that corner, going straight, straight over that way. Um, so we'll have to uh, we'll have to figure that one out when we get to it. Cosplay is reckoning 36 minutes to do this. Um, it probably take a little bit longer because we've got to then go and set up the um, tractor and trailer to come and offload him to take it back and unload. Um, split chill up. Sorry, I'm late. What's going in today? What's going on today? Um, not much, dude. I've gone solo tonight. I'm all on my own, but I've got you guys in chat keeping me going. But welcome to the stream, anyway. I hope you're well. 
So yeah, I do like the fact that cosplay gives you an estimated time of finishing. Um, I just wish that, you know, the normal hired system in Farming Simulator would give us some sort of indication. Exactly like that, you know, maybe pop it up underneath, you know, completion, estimated time or whatever. Just let us go. That's good, Split. I'm glad you're doing good, dude. Um, I'm on Dowland V2. Dowland Farm V2, the uh, pre-release version. Um, and as far as I know, this map's still in testing with Giants, although it won't be this exact uh, version, but uh, a version damn near close to this is uh, hopefully being tested by Giants. So that means you guys will be able to uh, get your hands on it when it's released. Um, one thing that I can tell you is that it is not, and I repeat, is not going to be compatible with console because of the whole chop, chop straw. <coughs> Neon Wolf, do you know Daggerwin? Yes, I know Daggerwin. Um, I don't personally know him, um, although I have spoke to him before. Um, he was in one of... Uh, one of my old servers um, about a year ago he dropped in and he, he spent about an hour in the server with us while we were playing and stuff so yeah we spoke to him that on that kind of level um, I was recording it but unfortunately my recording was corrupt so I didn't actually get to uh, see or well, I didn't actually get to put out any footage of Daggerwin on on my server although there were other people that were, were recording and did get recordings of him on our server as well Farmerlad06, hi dude, welcome to the live stream. So yes, I do know Daggerwin. Um, he uh, he gave the server my FS15 server. Uh, he gave that a shout out, and uh, a lot of people come over. So yes, uh, I know the Daggerwin. So yes guys, I hope all the, the, the audio and things are okay. I hope you can hear me clear enough and I hope you can hear the music okay. I did realize that the sound, the, the volumes of the vehicles are not very good. How's that? Is that a little bit better? Farming man. With all those twos, I'm not gonna count them, but hey, welcome, welcome. Yes, conflict, corrupt footage, yeah mate, I, I tried everything, I tried, you know, running scans on it, trying to, um, trying to get it to, to work properly and things, but no, nope, it just wasn't having it, it would play so far and then all of a sudden it would just give up and kind of just stopped. Uh, farming man with all the twos, thank you very much for your subscription on YouTube, it is much appreciated. Right, so, now that he is nearly full... We've got another little task that we need to get on with, and we've got to go all the way back around here. Kind of forgot, lost my tractor. Yeah, we're, we're back over here. So this is where cosplay can get a bit more tricky. Um, but having said that, it's, uh, it's all simple enough when you know what's happening. Neon Wolf has said, who inspired you to start YouTubing? Well, it's funny you say that because uh, Frithgar, it was actually Frithgar that, um, you know, he was the one that kind of, I watched a lot of his videos, you know, before he, before he was like massive as he is now. Um, I mean, I watched some of his older stuff like way back when. Um, and uh, when he started doing all his time lapses on FS15, I kind of... Um, I kind of thought, well, I like that kind of style. I like the fact that you can do time lapses in Farming Simulator, um, you know, and it and it comes out okay. So yeah, Frithgar, he would he was probably a massive influence on um, a massive influence on me as a YouTuber, um, and I and I and I've told him that before, and uh, he really appreciates it. Uh, right guys, this is not going to work out quite right just for this first headland. I just need some space. Um, so I am going to have to obviously cut cut some of the crop here. But I can't really do anything about that. Um, 
Luckily it's not too much we're going to lose. Because then what I can do is I can set my course and everything to go once we get like a proper headland done. But what are you doing? I don't... No. You need to stop. Stop during that and unload. Okay, cool. So he's now going to just go on a little bit further now and leave us here. So we'll just come back out and go like this until he is full. Which is not going to work out well because it means unless... Yeah, it'll be alright. We've got 93. Ideally, I want a little bit more room here before I can do the cast because you want to kind of record the cast coming out of the field and then through the entrances and things. Um, but yeah, that's also one thing that you've got to remember, guys, with cast plays. You are going to get bits that are missed. Um, and it's not good for my OCD. Um, it drives me mad, but I suppose you can't have it perfect all the time. So yeah, he's going to go around the headland once more and then he's going to start doing his runs down lengthways towards the south. Hopefully that will work out okay. So yes guys, uh, just a quick reminder, uh, if we can get my YouTube channel to 1000 subscribers, I will give you guys at least 3 hours of forestry work. Something that I uh, really do not like, and there's a few people here that will echo the same thing. I hate, I hate forestry and farming simulator. I get wound up, it annoys me, and everything else. So if you guys want to see that, please uh, spread the word about the channel, get the community out there, and then um, we can, or you guys can have the pleasure of watching me stressing out. For a few hours while we attempt to do some uh, forestry work right okay so I'm just gonna take this course from here because it's all right there, there should be enough space for him here so what you want to do is you want to go to the combi mode so it's gonna empty the combine and then offload so we want to be in that mode and because you don't have there's no fields or anything that you've got to like do like paths and things on what we can do is we can just start the recording and you can close that and then you can pretty much just go on. Now the nice thing about Dowland, especially on this field, is it's very close to uh, the farm so it's not too far away. But one thing to remember guys is course play and we'll show you with the speeds and everything later on. Once the, the course has been recorded. Oh, a bit of glitch there, what's going on? Um, sorted itself out now. Um, might be that John Deere actually. I'll have to look into it. Um, course player will basically drive the course at the speed that you record it if it's on that setting. You can, however, override it to stick to a speed lower than what, you, uh, what you're driving which might be a better idea. Now with this, I'm actually going to do this a bit cheeky way. And I'm going to go around here first. And then kind of swing back around. Just so that the, the cosplay driver is squared up to it when he, when he drives up to it. And then what I'm going to have to do is I'm just going to have to jump out now. Doesn't matter if you stop, just don't roll backwards. Okay, because... As you can see, we've still got the dot about above us, which is meaning that we're still recording the course. So we can open that. And then what you can do is, you can pretty much just drive straight through, and it'll pick it up that it's a, a, uh, a place to offload. I'm just gonna go a little bit more forward. And there you go. Craig Adams, hey dude, welcome to the live stream. And then we can pull out again. And then you can pretty much 
make your way back to the to the the field. Now, obviously, one thing you've got to keep in mind, guys, is if you are doing course play uh, out on the main on the roads and things, make sure you stick to the lanes because if you've got more than one tractor running around on the farm, uh, there's a good chance that they may pass each other. And if they're not quite in the right lanes, they can end up crashing into each other and causing a bit of headaches for you. Um, believe me, I've, I know all about that. So then what you want to do is you just come back around. Now cosplay will stick to your exact tire tread marks that you are like recording here. So you've got to keep in mind that you've got to try and be as good as you can. And then basically you can just go like that because then he can carry on. So once you've done that, you stop. And now we can save that as field one combi to farm silo. That's just my own organization things. And um, with the speeds and things, you go to that one. No, it's not. It's this one. Turning speed, so basically if he's making a turn, he's going to go at 6 mile an hour. Field speed, we we'll normally bump that up a little bit, just so that he can catch up with the combine a bit easier. We'll put that to 20. Now your street speed, if you click there, here's where you can make it slower. So I'm going to make it 25. Reversing speed, I don't, not worried about. Then click that again. And he'll automatically do his turn, his speeds around the turns and things. And then when he can go higher than the 6 miles or 20 miles an hour, he'll go all the way up to 25 and no higher. Always use four wheel drive. I don't really use that when I'm carting in a field. Um, but we'll put it on for this. The fuel save option. Basically, once I've got him going, if he's not required, he'll actually turn his engine off and save the fuel, which is really good. Um, manage the combines. This is now the one that we want to select. And we've only got the one, so it's got that one. So it says it's 146 meters away, so it'll be coming around the corner there. And he's sitting at 79%. This field was fertilized. Um, and that's about it, really. Uh, to just make sure pathfinding's on. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Drive the course. And now he's going to now go off and uh, go and unload the combine. But luckily, cosplay doesn't destroy your cop your crops, so that's why I don't mind the cosplay driving through the crops and things. It just doesn't look all that realistic, but you know, it's just just the way that cosplay works. I'm sure one day they'll they'll fix that problem. So yeah, as you can see, he's now or she, he, she, she, she's now found the combine harvester and is now unloading. So we're off to a good start. The tricky bits is when uh, when it comes to doing all the rest of the stuff. Uh, where's the one? There you go, you start. So he'll start at, let's say, there you heard him turn off. That's because he's not needed. He's, um, he's not using too much diesel. Craig says, hey DJ, yeah, I'm okay. I went to Silverstone for Ford Fair with my uncle and my cousin. Oh, that's cool. Um, but like I was saying with the fill thing, so he's now at 75. So I reckon if I knock that to 80, then... Uh, actually, we'll, we'll make it 70... Mm, let's go for 75, because we're at 75% now. So he'll, he'll now go off and hopefully find that if he doesn't get caught up behind the uh, combine harvester so now the combine should now be so this is the problem that you sometimes have if cost plays too close to the drive <coughs> to the drive signal thing is uh, this will start to happen so a way to solve that is to basically just come on round
Yep, so there you go. Combine harvest is starting to do his up and down now, so. Nearest waypoint. Now you should be able to pick that up a bit easier now. So, yeah. Yes, guys, like Nightbot's just done there. If anybody's uh, fancies joining us in Discord, joining the community over there, the link's there. I'll take you straight to the Discord server. It's free, no, no cost involved. So, yeah, now this is obviously where you can get different views of the tractor and things driving down the road. But we now have a man driving. Zach, welcome to the stream. Hello, how are you, dude? I hope you're well. But yeah guys, basically the whole aim about cosplay is really, once you get it all set up and everything works good enough, um, you can kind of then turn the whole farming simulator into more of a uh, farm management type of uh, game. So if you were to go really in depth with cosplay, you could actually have tractors set in specific areas on your map and things and you can record courses. Um, from, for instance, where you would store the implements, once you've attached the implement, there could be a start point there that would take that specific implement to the field that you want to work on. And so basically you don't really have to do any driving. The only driving that you would do is the driving, obviously setting up your courses because they're all um, pre-done courses. You can't, um, you can't really download them. Although you can, some people have put the courses online, but for maps, for, for more of the popular maps, it's, you know, it's not really uh, something that's happening. Right, what's going on here? Why is cosplay not unloading? That's strange. I wonder why that is. But if I do it, it works. Okay, well, we'll have to we'll have to try that one again. Do you know what I mean? Conflict when gravity doesn't work. No, that might just be the tip point. Actually, it might just be um, something to do with the tip point and the trailer. What I might do is I might put the tip point, uh, the tip of the trailer, to the rear door as opposed to the side. But then again, I think um, I actually think that. Cosplay chooses its own side to go to. It doesn't really, um, you know, it doesn't really uh, let you override that feature of the trailer, unfortunately. But that's just how it is. It might even, it might even be the trailer. We don't, we don't know. But that is something that I will, um, I'll point out to Dano and Pro Farmer. Because this is the whole reason behind doing things like this, guys. It's to give feedback back to the mod, the map creators so that they can make an awesome map. Even more awesome from the things that they may have overseen or something that they've maybe not tested or not tested it the same way someone else might do it. You know, things like that. So it's, it's valuable, the uh, feedback that, you know, we would give them after, after finding things out. Yes, Conflict Gravity's having a day off. Yeah, it sure is. Um, I'll tell you what we'll do is we'll stop the driver and see if we can change it from that to that. And then we can drive the cars. So hopefully what we'll do is we'll see if that works now. If not, then it won't work. And we might have to try a different trailer. But for the most part, um, it gets from the field to the farm. Okay, I'm back again. So that's really what you want. So yeah, it's all, all dandy. And like I said before, we're going to uh, send a windrow around here later on. Once the field's done to uh, just kind of compact all the... Not compact it, but gather all this straw up so that we can uh, bale it up. So we'll see what happens.
So how's everybody's day been today then? I don't even know what day is it, Sunday? Has everybody had a had a lazy day? Is it Sunday? See, I'm on holiday so I've completely lost track of um, what days and things it is. It's crazy. Yeah, it's Sunday. <laughs> And yeah, like I said, guys, we're listening to NCS, the No Copyright Sounds, a Spotify playlist. Uh, so, yeah. Now, I'm thinking when it comes to um, doing some of the rowing up, you know, with the swaths and things, we'll probably use the... Uh, wind rower that's on the farm I think it's just over a 10 meters or something and basically what we do is we will set a course up for that to basically just do its own course and then it'll it'll just catch everything up as it goes along and then when it comes to bailing it you all you have to do is change the work mode uh, you might even be able to leave it on field work and you can have the baler run the exact same course as the wind rower and it'll pick all the the windrows up because it, it'll take the course from the middle of the tractor, you see. So it matches each tractor and implement to the middle. So that's always good. I suppose the other way that you could do it is... Um, I, I do suppose you could set up the uh, baler. In fact, we'll give that a try. We'll set the baler up with the same course as the combine harvester and give it the same width. Um, and uh, it should it should make it work. Craig says no, no mate. I was on my feet streaming the Ford cars and now I'm enjoying a few beers. <laughs> yeah, but it was all the seeing all those cool like cars and things that should have been interesting and fun. Zach says, did you know that Kuhn put their machines through various violent tests and I've been at work? That's cool. So you've been working today. I normally work on a Sunday, but like I said, I'm on holiday. I've been on holiday for two weeks. This is my last week off now. So back to the job work, back to the full-time job, ne not next week, week after. But yeah, that's cool. I I'd assume that they do test their products uh, vigorously to make sure nothing breaks. Because as a, as a manufacturer of a machine or something, I'd rather it break well, while I'm testing it, rather than it breaking when the customer buys it. But that's my own pref preference, really. So, yeah. If you guys are enjoying the stream so far, it'd be awesome if you could slap the like button. Get that, get that up. Been doing well with the likes guys so thank you all very very much for those of you who are liking him it means a lot and to those of you who are watching the streams even after the streams finished um, neon wolf says in real life you'd never make a swath on the headland you would just chop it right okay I suppose the I suppose the headlands where all the tractors and things would be driving and that so yeah I can understand that Cool, I'll keep that one in mind for next time. I suppose it's a bit less to try and mess around with as well because you're not having to go around the corners. But yeah, this is the other problem that you sometimes get with course play. Um, is it doesn't send this tractor far enough away. You have to move it ever so slightly just so that you can carry on. And you know what we'll do? We'll actually change him back to... Might as well set him back to 90. And yeah, what we'll do is we'll jump in the combine and we can have an, a few ups and downs with him. So yeah. Like I was saying earlier guys, this is Dowland V2. There are some features on this map that you guys will have seen if you caught the uh, pre-release live stream. I think we did it last week. 
Um, go and check it out if you're interested to see all the features before I get to them in my uh, Let's Play Farming Simulator 17 streams. Because that's the plan now is I'm going to stay on this version and I'm going to do a full Let's Play on this version so it should be fun. But I'm going to stream all of them instead. Instead of just recording them and then editing, you're going to see all the mistakes and all everything. I think it's the only way that people can learn is to learn from the mistakes that they see on screen. So if I make a mistake, we work through it, we sort it, and you'll know if it, if you get the same mistake, you'll know what to do. Cosplay is an absolutely fantastic mod. It's great, it's awesome. Like I said before, you've got to be patient with it though because it does it does break sometimes. UK Summer 1, good evening Max Stallion Whitey, good evening sir and welcome to the live stream. Thank you for stopping by. I was just talking to the to everybody about cosplay. Um, and how I really do enjoy using cosplay. I'm glad that I took the leap back in Farming Simulator 15 to kind of learn how it works and everything. Because it works practically the same. The version that I've got installed though is the dev developer's version. Um, so you, it kind of looks, looks a little bit different. Um, but it still does the exact same thing. Exact same thing. So, cosplay for this one is saying that we've got 21 minutes left, which I reckon, yeah, it's about right. So, yeah, we're doing good. That's good, UK Simmer one. That's good. Oh, my favorite mods. Or my, what is my favorite mod on FS17? Wow. Um, that's a tough one. That is a really, really tough one. Does it have to be a machinery or a tractor? Can it be a map? And does it, okay, no, a map, no. Um, my favorite mod. I quite like the Fent Vario 1050. I've got it here. Although that's a nice mod as well. The Case Puma with a straight pipe. Farmer YT Adam, he loves that tractor. Um, ooh, yeah. Class Axion 900, they're nice. But yeah, I think the Black Beauties for me uh, would have to be the one if, uh, obviously you'd have to go for the 1050. You've got 517 brake horsepowers. So you've got a few ponies under the hood. Um, and yeah, basically that, that would probably be the one that I'd go for. And if the map was big enough, I'd stick them on twin wheels. So yeah, uh, that, that'd probably be it for me. The Fent 1050 Vario. For the tractor, anyway. Um, but there's just so many different mods out there, Neon. Um, I don't think I have a specific favourite one. Um, I do like the... I've just closed it now. I do, however, like the... Not that one. Is it uh, this one here? The ATAR series. That's a really nice mod with all the interactive controls and things. Um, this is the same tractor. Um, you know, this is the same the same tractor. It's just done by a different person, different modders. Um, and I think there's slightly less features that you can choose from. Still awesome tractor, um, but yeah, definitely the the Vario for me. That it'd have to be the Vario. Um, so yeah, UK Simmer says my favourite mod is coming soon. It's the West Coast map. Yes, that map does look very good. Um, but as far as I know, it's still in a it's in a work in progress. So yeah, it'd be good when that map does come out. But one thing I do know is a lot of people will be playing it. Look 
Cool, so we're getting on okay here. We're doing quite well. We're doing good. Right, so he is now at 90%, so we should get all of it in. Oh, that was close. Okay, never mind. So he's now gonna drive off and get stuck more than it, more than likely, or he's gonna try and cut in front of us constantly. Uh, we'll see what happens. Oh no, he's just gonna go that way. Actually, we'll jump out because we want to really go with him to make sure they. Uh, he gets there okay because I have a feeling that oh oh what things do I want to happen in fa FS19 oh the list is endless uh, neon um, the, the list is endless one thing I wish they would uh, sort out is the terrible two-dimensional field textures There's no, there's no depth to them at all. It's just a picture, and it moves when you move. UK Simmer says Dowland map looks fantastic with Seasons mod. Yes, it is. It's absolutely beautiful. All the trees and that change color, leaves fall off. It, it is. It's a completely different map when is when Seasons is on. Um, but like I said, the reason that I don't have Seasons running tonight is because I wanted to test all the. Uh, the combining features and cosplay. See if he unloads. Now I have set it to unload at the rear. I don't know why it's jumping so much. I hope it's not jumping that like that on screen for you guys. I really hope not. And now's the time. Where is he gonna unload it? He's still not going to do it. Unless I do it. Then again, I don't want it there. I want it... Uh, there. To go out the back. Yeah, so there we go. We found, we found something that Cosplay doesn't like. Now, like I said, I don't know if it's the trailer or if it's the... Silent... The... the the pit where we're dumping, I really am not sure. Maybe they, they don't like working together, but we'll see. Martin, welcome back. Welcome back. So yeah, that's about it really. I mean we're just we're just having a little a little test session. Um see how we get on. I do thank you guys for joining me. Really do appreciate it. Sit there and wait. He'll sit there and wait and do his thing now. Nope, Simmer, you don't have to do that. It automatically picks up the, tick, the trigger point. Otherwise, he would just carry on driving straight through. The problem that we've got is, is it's doing the actions to tip it, but the product's not coming out of the trailer when it's tipping. What was the red thing that ran that ran past your tractor at the silo? Are you talking about the uh, the dog? That's Max. Martin. Um, yeah, that's Max. Now, hopefully, he's now going to turn around and then head back down there to finish that little corner off down there, which he should do. He should do. Uh, 
Uh, neon, neon wolf. Uh, probably not just yet. Um, because I mean I don't have anything fantastic to be quite honest. Um, but maybe one day when uh, you know if I ever move and I get my own little light studio thing going, then yeah, I'd probably do a, a little studio tour for you guys. Um, but apart from that, it's just bog standard really. It was too fast for a chicken. Yeah, the chickens are in the other side. Yeah, the chickens are all over in the other side. I don't know why uh, she's choosing to reverse all the way down there, but anyway, I suppose that's okay. You know, we won't get. She won't be able to break it if she goes slowly. I'm actually quite curious to see if we can uh, get the baler going. We'll do that in a sec. We'll do that just now. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna swap. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna row it up. What I'm gonna do is I wanna try just do it set up to the same settings as the combine, which you can do. You just basically load the combine course into it, and it'll think you're in a combine, and off you'll go. All right, so she's turning round now. So that's good. So she still remembers that she's got some work to do. The uh, the stuff that gets sent over from the, the cosplay recruitment agency tend to be a little bit better than the uh, recruitment agencies that giants use themselves. Uh, seem to have a few more brain cells. we've got left now can't see it'll be too long oh the mass is getting dirty that's for sure so we've got whoa, 28 minutes apparently I don't think that's right to do that no that can't be right yes yeah, Simmer not bad for a, for a for a female driver you're right dude yeah to be honest there's quite a few um, female farmers out there Quite a few in Ireland, I know that much. I think Grassmen, they've got a few that work for them. Yeah, we might as well have a shoot around in here. You can see the wheat just there. Apparently our Vario is slipping. Right, so when that comes up, where you see the little message there, all you have to do is click on the little tractor icon and it'll take you there. And he is slipping. He's slipping into the wall. I just want to stop him and get him out of there. She's, she's doing a better job than the other day. Yeah, like I said, Lewis, um, Cosplay drivers seem to be a little bit better. Simmer, so unlike my girlfriend who backed into a billboard in her own car. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to pay for the bill. Yeah. But do you know what's crazy? I think, and I don't, it might be different now, but a few years back, females' insurance on car and cars and things were generally cheaper than men's. But like I said, I don't know if that's that's still true to this day or not. I have no idea. So is there anybody else out there that's on holiday at the moment? I know there's school holidays and holidays and things going on. 
I'm sure there'll be a few of you guys watching that are on holiday. Now he's gonna go and get now she's gonna go and stop literally where the combine harvester has to go and then it's gonna tell me that they can't go anywhere because it's in the way. No, I can see where you're coming from, Simmer. I, I can see where you're coming from. Uh, but I'm, I'm sure that there was somewhere along that mentioned that um, the like full premium for their um, insurance was slightly cheaper. It may have just been one provider at the time. I, I can't remember. I wish I was a DJ, it's stressing me out. Oh, whoa. It got past. Oh, so you didn't get stuck this time. Okay, cool. Why do you why why do you say that, Lewis? I wish I was a DJ. It's stressing me out. Sure. And Neon Neon Wolf, he's on holiday and he says that I've done nothing so far. Neither have I, dude. Neither have I. Chilled out, taking some time out of work, spend with my daughter. She's on school holidays, so I thought I'd take three weeks out and uh, spend some time together. So it's been good. Why is, why, why is DJ stressing you out, Lewis? What's he doing? Can't have mod, mods stressing each other out. <laughs> so here's a quick one for you guys. If you could name one NCS song from No Copyright Sounds playlist on Spotify, <clears throat> what would the song be? Just one. I was on holiday until this morning, says Simmer. Right, cool. That'll be that'll be me next week. Neon, so Neon Wolf says, but nowadays there's nothing to do. You're quite right, dude. It's either nothing to do or the cost of doing something is just extortionate and doesn't make sense. Like my daughter wanted to go to a trampoline warehouse place uh, where she can go jump around on a trampoline and the cost was like 12 pounds for an hour for her to go on her own and another 10 pound for me for an hour and I thought what 20 quid for an hour for, for me and my daughter to go jump on a trampoline when she can go home and jump on her own trampoline for hours on end and cost me nothing I was like no we're not doing that he's talking tech stuff all right and then Martin says I'm on holiday next Monday right That's cool. So yeah guys, if there's one song, what would it be? From NCS. I bet everyone's off onto NCS website now, checking to see which is their favorite song. <laughs> uh, Simmer, I'm from Leeds in the UK, England. Not too far from the city center. Probably about 20 minutes out. But yeah, I do. I do like the texture for the uh, chop straw and stuff. Well, not well. The field and that when you when it's cut, it's a bit different. It's not as stubbly. It doesn't look. It stubbles, but it's not patchy like it like the the ordinary crops are. Uh, the ordinary game. It's kind of like bit here and bit there, bit here, bit there. Whereas this is more more fluent. Leeds, boo. I'm from Carlisle. Fucking Carlisle. <laughs> That's even worse, dude.
So you're not too far from the borders then? The Scottish borders, eh? Got Scottish family. Don't like them. The relatives. JJD, Martin says JJD. Right, so that's your artist. What song by JJD would you like? Well, is your favourite? That, that's... We're getting somewhere, so it's JJD. Okay, so, yeah, Lewis is from uh, Newcastle, we all know that. You used it in time-lapse once. Uh, oh, I can't remember what it's called now. Um, I do know which one you're on about, yeah, I do know what one you're on about, I just can't remember the name of it. Uh... I'll have to I'll have to think about that one. Um, unless Yeah, and Martin's all the way in Ireland. Dundold, Dunnolk, Dunnolk, Dunnolk in Ireland. I think that's how you say it, I don't know. And then Neon Wolf, he says where I am that we have a trampoline park near us. We Weekdays, ten pound for one hour, and weekends five for an hour. That see, if it was five pound for an hour, I wouldn't be too bothered. But ten pound for a for a six year old, yeah, it's a bit bad, a bit extortionate. Uh, and you're from Norfolk, Neon. Awesome. And then Simmer says Newcastle is a good place. I had my back operation there. Cool. And then Martin says, hold on, got to check. Yeah, cheers, Martin. Trampoline park near me is £30 for two hours and then £3 for a drink. Jeez. See, why? I don't understand how they can get away with charging so much, really. really. It's mental. It's crazy. To go jump around on a trampoline, and you can buy a full trampoline for your own back garden for like £150. You can jump on it as much as you want. You can even have your friends around to jump on it, too. This is, it's like a greenhouse in there. Yeah, yeah I bet it is, mate. Um, I've heard the one near mine is pretty warm as well. I've heard that because a few people, a few friends of mine, have taken their kids along. I think, I think one of my one of my friends or my boss, I think it was from work. He he had his kid's birthday there, and it was well over two hundred pound for ten people. I was like, no. Nah. William 6495 a bit of bailing would be great well once this is done that's what we're going to be doing so welcome to the stream uh, so yeah right so that's him done that now the problem that we've got so I just want to kind of catch him before he starts going back the other way because I think he's going to get stuck in that hedge so we'll stop that the cost now we need to save this so we're on field one and it was 10.6 okay ah oh, never mind because we can just do that and kind of go like that load it again uh, turn the combine off save it as field one 10.6 meter combine. Uh, Louis, Louis says, I know, but the best thing is it's a big plastic building. Ah. And you kiss him as they won't go sailing across other folks' gardens in the window. No, there's what no, but my daughter's one has actually got like these big like spikes that you can actually on the feet that are on the ground you kind of hammer them over so it kind of 
clamps it down to the ground. Um, but uh, I, I was thinking about, you know, digging those bits up and then setting, setting it in concrete. So then we knew that it wouldn't go nowhere. The only problem then is if we wanted to move it, you can't really move it unless you take the uh, unless you were to take the um, the legs off it and just leave them in the ground. But that's not not any good really. And then William says, "Love the man. Gonna kick back and relax. You do that, dude. You do that." I'm on Dowland Farm V2. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm testing out cosplay. And as we know, it doesn't quite work 100%. Um, the actual operations of cosplay in the field and things, they work fine. Um, the problem that we've got is when it comes to tipping, it, it just doesn't want to. Uh, Oh, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. Oh, am I gonna hit my head of there? No. See? Oh, I've still got like 5% in there. That is not fun. Okay, never mind. Alright, so we might as well clear his out of there. Okay, Stimmer says some people in Carlisle have dug a hole and made their trampoline same height as the ground yeah well where I come from originally in South Africa that's what we used to do we used to sink them into the ground um, it just makes more sense I think it's safer that way to be fair um, but I suppose the the big trampolines that you get nowadays with the big the big nets around them I suppose they're uh, um, they have that for their protection because I do remember having trampolines like that where you say they would like sunk into the ground and I can remember jumping on them as a kid and fall like jumping off them and hurting myself as I landed on the hard ground um, I, I can remember that and it wasn't nice it really wasn't nice so yeah welcome to anybody if there's anybody over on Twitch welcome and if there's anybody new on YouTube welcome Welcome to the live stream. There you go, Martin. Is this the uh, the uh, the red thing you were referring to? Well, it's a poochie, a doggy dog, and his name's Max. Hello, Max. Looks quite vicious with his teeth. You think he's got what? Hello, boy. Hello, boy. Hey. He's gonna run off now. So when he gets around here, he then bolts it. Watch. Boo! And he's off. And he basically does that backwards and forwards. But yeah, he is based. Uh, he is based on a real life dog. Um, Yorkshire, Yorkshire Dano's dog, as far as I believe. Oh, didn't do that turn very, <laughs> very well at all. Not well at all. Yeah, but they can still tip over if you go into the netting yeah they can um, but if you've got it anchored down to the ground um, it's not too bad I'll tell you what we'll just put this trailer in here for the time being because I think we'll get away with I say I think I hope we will yeah Get the bailer. Do you know what, guys? I think there is a bit of lag coming from that John Deere, so what I'm going to do I'll get rid of it. Just to see if that makes a difference. Looks a little better. So I'm looking on my preview screen. <coughs> so hopefully that's a bit better. Yeah, I know we're using a bit of a uh, overkill here. This is where your chickens are, Martin. Uh, it's kind of like a, a shared yard between where we can grab some equipment and then all our eggs and things gather up in here. Uh, pick them all up. 
might as well. So I don't actually know if you've got to fill that up or not, I really don't know. That little bowl there. You might have to put water in it or something, I don't know. Who knows? Right, so we'll just pull on around here and link up to the Lily Baylor. There we go, and we're on. So like I said guys, I'm going to try and um, set the baler going with the same course as the combine harvester took. That way you should be able to pick up some of the uh, well, majority of the uh, straw and that that was left on the ground. So we'll see. There you go, there you go Martin, that's the one. Electromania and JJD, you used it on Crossroads time lapse. Yes, I remember now, I remember. Just gonna get this going and then uh, see how we get on. So I remember doing this in FS15 where you set it up at with the same course as the Combine Harvester. Um, but whether it's gonna like actually activate the, uh, the baler or not is something else. So what we'll do is we might just do field work. Uh, in fact, I might have to load that one like that. Go to there and switch it over to that one first waypoint drive so here we go moment of truth everybody and it works it's working everybody I'm happy and Martin says, took me forever to find it. <laughs> I bet it would. Obviously, going around corners and things, guys, it's going to miss some of it. But that, I'll end up just plowing it in anyway. Um, so, yeah, I'm happy now that Cosplay is managing to do this part. So that's always good. Well, Martin, if you stick around, I will uh, go and have a look for the song, um, and uh, I might stick it on. Automated farming, exactly Simmers. Well, that's exactly the whole point about cosplay, is the only manual input you've got is setting it all up and recording the odd courses that you may need to record and things like that. Apart from that, it does it all itself. Um, I want to have a look in here. Can you remember, Martin, if it was called Adventure or Future? Future or Adventure? Yep, 
Yep, that's the thing, uh, Simmers. If you set it up properly, you can do everything. Just about everything, anyway. You can use it to sell crops. You can use it to uh, drive backwards and forwards to the shop. You can you can pretty much do it to do whatever you want. Neon Wolf, awesome. He says, I'm back and I've joined your Discord now. Sweet. Nice one. Thank you very much. Welcome to the community. Now, you've got me going, Matt, and I'm trying to. I'm having to go through now to see um, exactly which one it is now. You've got me going. I think it was the Great Success one. Maybe wrong. Let's have a look. Music used, rhetorical. No, it's not that one. I know it was uh, it was combine harvesting, wasn't it? it? Might actually be that one. Yeah, that's the reason why I've got the dev control version simmer. Um, is your it gives you that option? You're right. Yeah, it gives you the option to uh, to see the cars. You're quite right. I'm not actually in the game at the minute, guys, but you guys can still see the game. I'm just out of the game at the moment. That's probably why you can't hear anything. Um, I'm just trying to find find what we were talking about, um, what song we're on about. Is it that one? No. This is really getting me now. Do you know what? I actually think... I actually think I may have sent it to you in Discord. Oh, I've just had a look at the class Lexion 750, uh, Martin. Awesome. Thank you. Um, let's have a look. The JJ, the JJD song is called Free, so that's the one that we'll, uh, we'll have to put on in a bit. Yeah, you nearly beat me to it, Martin. You nearly beat me to it. I knew I'd sent it to you in a in a PM on Discord because you asked me what the name of the song was. I, I do remember that. So there you go, Electromania JJD Free. So like I said, I will have a look very soon and uh, see if we can put that one on for you to listen to because it is, it is a really good song I like it Mason the Beast welcome to the stream hi how are you doing dude I hope you're well we're uh, having some fun on Dowland Farm version 2 um, not released for public use yet um, I'm currently testing uh, cosplay out. So so far so good. The only the only thing that cosplay has not been successful to do, and that's actually unload the trailer at the tipping point at the silo. That could be many different things. It could be the silo. It could be the tipping point on that. It could be the trailer. It could be it could be cosplay. It could be a number of things. Um, although I will send the feedback. Um, I will obviously let Yorkshire Dano and Pro Farmer 40 know 
they may be aware of it already. Um, no doubt they probably will have seen on the stream. Um, and yeah, this is the version 2, which is uh, currently in testing, hopefully, by Giants. Martin says, I had to go back to Crossroads again. Yeah, I kind of flicked through a few episodes and I just went straight to the, des the description and I couldn't see it. And then I thought, well, I sent it to you on a PM in uh, Discord, so I just started f going through that and then I found them. So, yeah, yeah, it's all good. Then we're going to get a few uh, bales out of this lot. Question is, where we're going to put them all? <laughs> We may have to look into selling them, or what we'll do is we'll store them for the time being somewhere on the farm. Um, I might even run them up to one of the other farms to show you guys what that's all about up there. Uh, this could be a bit tricky. Is that going to roll into the hedge now? There, we've got a rolling bale, guys. We've got a bale on the loose. A bale on the loose. Oh, that combine's in the way now. Oh, quick, go! Go, 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 go! So why can I not? Oh, it's because I've still got some stuff in there. Darn it. Forgot about that. Oh. Still got some wheat left in there. That's why I won't fold up. But yeah, I, I'm happy at this so far, guys. <laughs> Split says, sorry. Oh, I just realised that I, uh, I haven't liked it yet. Well, thank you for your like. Yes, guys. If you would like, If you would like to slap the like button for the stream, please do so. Show the love. Let me know that you guys are enjoying the stream. If we can keep beating the previous one, then that's it. I think we got to 16 likes yesterday. So it'd be awesome if we could beat that and continue to beat it on a daily basis. And, and also with the views, guys, we're getting there. The channel's growing, so thank you. After all, it is you guys that, that are making it grow. Simmer, you are more than welcome, mate. You know where we are, I stream every night um, at half past eight on an evening. You're more than welcome to join us anytime you want, dude. And I'm, I'm glad that, I can, that I've entertained you. Take care, dude. Have a good one. Jordan McGee, welcome to the stream. I drive a T7250 for a living. Is it on this game? A T7250. What make is, what make is that? I'm not too great with all the, uh, just the um, model numbers, uh, I need a name. It sounds like a John Deere or some sort. New Holland, right? Well, I can show you the New Holland tractors that we could that we've got. Uh, I've got the TW5, the TW25. We've got old school New Holland there. Um, got the 40, and then the yes. Um, T9. T8. There's the T7. So you, what did you say yours was? The T7 250. Okay, the smallest one that I can get on this game is the, the, the T7 290. So yeah, not too far off what you drive. Gary Stevenson, thank you dude. Welcome to the live stream. 
Unless you can go for one slightly smaller than that and uh, boot it up, but I don't think it'll put it up. So no, that's the smallest that we can go in the game. Well, not the smallest, but the smallest in the T7 is the 290, if that's helped. So you get the 290 and the, yeah, 315, there you go. But obviously if you want to go a bit bigger, you go to the T8 and then the T9. And I think there's another one, but I don't have it on this map. But it's basically sort of like like the quad track, um, articulated as well. I think could be wrong. But yeah, that's okay. What's going on here? You're not going right. Why? Why? What's caused you to go wrong? Why, why is he doing that? He's not on it now. Right, so we'll have to stop that. Okay, so I think that's more or less my mistake. Um, but that's okay. What I'll do is, we will uh, just finish the bale that's inside here. And then uh, we'll uh, think about picking these bales up. And then I wanted to get Cultivator in the ground, show you guys what that does. So now I have to unload it, which would be... Why? I'll turn that off. Why again to close it? Jordan says we have two, T two T7250s and a John Deere 6140R. Yeah, nice. Yep, yeah, thanks Martin, it is, it's the T9465, you're right, yep, yeah, that's the one. Right, so, I'm not going to bail all that up guys, because it's just going to give us far too many bails. Um, when really all I wanted to show you guys was just that quickly, so that's kind of worked. We've got the headland. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drop this off at the farm, and then we'll head over to the shop. And we'll pick up a auto load trailer. I don't think I've actually got any auto loads on on this game at the moment, but I do. We can get the, I think it's that, Akusan or something, the Akusan round bale collector, automatic stack of thing, eight bales or something like that. I'll tell you what we can do now that that's... I oh know we need to still unload the uh, harvester yet. I'm just going to put the baler here for now and I can clean that all up later on. Bit of a tight squeeze. We get around, yeah. I'll just uh, pop it there. Now I know there, is, there was a bale trailer on the map when you start, but it was that massive, big one, the big flegel, and uh, I don't like it because of the steering wheels at the front. You know, it's got the, it's like two at the front and then I think might have four at the back and the front two can turn as well. Reversing them are a nightmare. They're horrible. I'm not the best at them so that's why I choose not to use them. So like I said guys we're just going to nip on down to the shop a minute. Luckily the shop's not too far away. It's just around the corner. So yeah I'm happy that you know, we've managed to get that field uh, harvested and that with cosplay. At least we know that cosplay can harvest the fields. And then there's the castle up there. Can't see it at the moment. I'll show you to what, I'll take you up. Nice castle that you can look at. 
And of course there's a big aeroplane coming over as well. So yeah, there's the castle. And it all lights up at night and things. And then there's a massive big aeroplane coming past. Look at that. That'll be off to the army base or something. Uh, Neon says, when do you think you will hit the 1,000 subs? Well, I'd like to hit it as soon as possible, but I suppose that's up to everybody else that's out there. Farmer Wynn, welcome to the live stream. Welcome. For those of you that don't know, Farmer Wynn is also a YouTuber who, up until today, did a lot of uh, footage on PlayStation 4. But I think we've managed to convince him to uh, to come over to the the PC version. And uh, he was asking me earlier, he's having a bit of problems with his dedicated server. And uh, I, he asked me a few questions and I said I'd be more than happy to help you set it up. So when we both get some time free in the next couple of days, hopefully, um, we'll sit down and we'll we'll figure it all out. So yeah, that was the first trailer that you uh, that you given to begin with. Um, but like I said, I don't like the whole steering system at the front. Um, no, I don't have. I've only got that one, which is fine. Yeah, I'm doing good, Farmer Win. Doing really good, dude. Thank you very much. I've gone solo. First live stream without the guys in the Discord and things like that. We're obviously not on the server tonight. Although the server is up, guys, for those of you that want to join. All my detail all the details to the server are below. And we're currently on the old streams map, the old stream farm version 2. Um just until this version of Downland Farm is released. Or the version that Giants have is released. Then once that's released then this will be the featured map on the server. There you go, Lewis says he, we should hit the thousand mark, the thousand subscriber mark by October. Martin says, uh, Hi Farmer Win, I like your channel too. Yeah, quality channel, he does um, time lapse videos. Um, but he does them all on PlayStation. Which is pretty cool. Right, so I need to obviously unfold this. How do I do that? Uh, operating position B. Uh, is that it? And then we're off. Okay, so let's go. What I'll do is I'll just go around in, around in big circles like this and we'll just pick them up like this on the way around. That's that one. And that one. We'll just keep going around like this. Obviously not tip the tractor. We don't want to do that. That right, so now we can put that back to transporting mode and we'll go find somewhere to put these. Yeah, DJ, well, I suppose it's alright for people to say that they like other people's channels if they were. Uh, self-promoting then it would be a different story uh, it's, uh, I'm quite happy with people saying who they like and whatnot it doesn't bother me at all so you're all right you're okay Martin just 
just as long as you guys don't jump into one of my streams and start plastering uh, URL links and trying to self-promote channels and things because I don't do it in other people's streams so I don't expect everyone, anybody to do it in mine. We need him to hit a thousand subs so he can suffer by doing forestry. I was reading that and I crashed. Yes, you're right, Neon Wolf. Everyone's looking forward to it, you're right. I'm not. <laughs> so I think what I'm going to do, guys, I'm just going to put these here. There's no need to put them anywhere else. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Farmer win for sharing. Right, so I need to now push Y. No, Lewis, you love you love forestry. You were born for forestry in this game. You were honestly born for it, dude. So now what do I push? Uh, unload here, so why? Ooh, don't you dare fall over. Don't you dare fall over. I think we're free. Yeah. Alright, so we need to push Y for it to come back down. And push B to set it back. go and off we go to get the next few bales so yeah guys like I was saying earlier on if you're enjoying the live stream please head down below and uh, hit the like button and get the word out there about the channel because it looks like everybody wants me to get to the thousand mark so the quicker you guys get me there the quicker you're gonna see me kicking off at farming sim uh, neon wolf how long we've we been going for now we've been going for two hours now I'll probably give it another I don't know, maybe another hour. We'll see how see how once we get these bales picked up, see where we get to. And then we might we might even call it a day <clears throat> at that. And then uh then tomorrow when we um come back for another episode we will do the field work on this field and then you guys can see um what I mean by the the multi-directional um, texture so it's not just 45 degree angles like we see in uh, the standard vanilla game just doesn't look right yeah uh, Lewis is Lewis is a bit of a crazy crazy head when he's in the uh, the Scorpio thing. He's doing, he, he like flips it all over the place to get the logs out and everything. It's got a weird way of doing it, but it works. It does work. I think I'm not going to make this bail, so I might have to come back around for it. So yes, farmer win. If you uh, if you just let me know tomorrow, um, if you've got a few minutes spare, and uh, we can jump onto Discord, and then uh, then you can uh, or we can sort your server out. It'll it'll be something something simple. Um, I don't think it'll be anything too hectic. Strategic. <laughs> Martin says you'll I'll buy what I'll buy you what you need. Yeah, it won't be cheap. That one won't be cheap. I don't know. We were testing out cosplay. 
Um, now that you're here, Dana, um, when, when, once the combine harvest is full and you get the trailer load and everything, you set your cast back and you hit the, you know, you come back along into the, the main yard here. I'll show you as we're coming past. Um, we hit a bit of a problem. I don't know if it's to do with the, uh, the silos itself or, um, if it's cosplay or something. But basically what will happen is cosplay recognizes the trigger point here but when the trailer gets up to it the action of the trailer will you know it'll still do the whole um, action of unloading but it won't actually unload the trailer and it'll just sit there and it won't do anything there I, I did uh, show it on stream earlier on um, and that was the one thing that I did want to pass on to you guys um, but I don't know if it's to do with the with the silo system, um, because like I say, cosplay is picking up the tr the trigger point. It's just that when you tip in the trailer, cosplay is not emptying it. But if I pull up to it and push unload, it unloads the trailer. So I don't know if it's just an issue with cosplay or something like that. But I thought I'd let you guys know anyway. Um, but there you go. We've got fifty five thousand six hundred and seventeen liters of wheat. So we're doing good there. Um, yeah, I didn't want to bring these around here, but anyway, we're around here now, so we might as well bring them around. Put them in here. If we can get the trailer. If we can get the trailer done up in here. I don't know. We should be able to. Lange Lichter. Lang, lange Lichter. I think that's how it is. Uh, we're in pounds at the moment. Uh, welcome to you over there on Twitch. Thank you for joining us. Um, for my forestry service, I charge twenty pound in real life. Twenty pound a day, dude. That's cheap. <laughs> we'll have a look back at stream one second. No worries, dude. Whenever you get the chance. Hey, it's not. Like I say, it might just be something to do with cosplay. Um, I have no idea, but that was the only the only issue. Cosplay worked fine when it comes to, to harvesting and everything else. Picked the field out perfect and everything. So that was the only the only issue was when we were trying to unload. It would just sit there. Uh, we're running pounds at the moment on the map, um, but I think they were talk talking about the uh, Lewis's service fee <laughs> or his service charge. So are you still at work then, Dano? Or are you uh, finally, finally home? Awesome. So Dano says that he can fix that problem. Nice one. I just wanted to let you know on that one anyway, Dano. Thank you. I know that you guys love the feedback, and that's what you're looking for. back once again Dano was listening to that song on uh, in his tractor the other day uh, in his sprayer last night actually fat boy slim I'm back once again so yeah so we've probably got another what two or three loads to take out of here um, to be quite honest, I wish I hadn't bailed all of these up. I just wanted to see if cosplay worked with the bailer, and it does. Works fine. It's a new thing in cosplay with the tip anywhere thing. I won't recognize tip areas correctly, so there's a new thing in the cosplay menu. Yeah, um, it's the whole um, where you got to stop it to tip. Um, I, I understand that bit, but um, I do know that it, it, it kind of picks up the tip trigger itself. Um, but yeah, um, next time I set a cast up to do that, I'll um, I'll set it to do an unload there and see if that see if that works. Uh, no, just get, just got home, getting my tea, got rained off bailing. Oh dear. 
That's not good. Yeah, the rain, it did start raining a, a, well, about half an hour before I started streaming. It started spitting down down here. Um, but it wasn't anything <coughs> anything crazy. Excuse me, guys, I'm just going to have a sip of cold coffee. But uh, this map is just unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. Um, and Dano's going to know what I'm talking about here now. Um, you know the area, Dano, um, at the top where you can put the placeables and things like that? Um, I'm thinking about kind of doing the whole like seed refill and fertilizer refill point and everything from there you know when you get this once the seed the seed dress is working properly and everything like that once you've got seeds and fertilizer in it and it's actually making stuff um i was going to set up a course to pick it up from the the seed maker and then go and drop it off um in one of those areas and then have like a conveyor a conveyor belt system running so that I can uh, basically just when I'm seeding and stuff instead of having to come back to the farm um, you just go past one of the little one of the little areas up there and um, it would refill from there but that's obviously gonna happen at a later point obviously I can't reverse this thing come on um, I just thought it'd be something different Cause I do. I just love. I just love the fact that um, you've given us that the space where we can like pretty much put down whatever we want. And that's awesome. Uh, AC driving. Hello there, dude. Welcome to the live stream. He says, "Is this coming to console?" But I don't play it. And does it work with seasons? Yes. The new version of Dowland Farms is going to be. Well, it is seasons compatible, um, so all the the barns and stuff where you, where you store your bales and things, they work. They've got the snow mesh and things, so they work snow through the building and um, won't ruin the crops. And no, it's unfortunately not going to be on console, as Dano has just pointed out there, due to scripting. Um, but yes, apart from that. It's compatible with everything else. Uh, chop straw, AA processing, the AAA processing kit, all of that stuff. Because there's a few things on the map that you need the processing kit for in order for the mods to work. Um, and obviously you can't get those mods for console, so that's purely the reason why. The main reason why that is. He's a strong dude, man. He's a strong dog. He's like iron dog. Nothing, nothing hurts him. No AC, uh, AC driving. No, it won't be coming to console. It will not. So yes, guys. Apart from that, I've enjoyed myself this evening. I don't know about you guys. If you have. Hit the like button, and uh, like I said, I think this will probably be probably be it for tonight. Um, and uh, like I said, tomorrow night when we do the stream, I will show you guys all about the multi-directional uh, ground textures. Is that how it's? Is that the right word for it, Dano? I'm not too sure if that is. Um, if that is the correct name for it, is it ground texture, whatever it was, the multiple ground texture. Good job he is an iron dog, yeah he is, everybody runs him over, it's not just me. But no, we like Max, Max is awesome. 
Maximus. Right, okay, but I, I need it for this version. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So the, the AAA processing kit for the new version is not necessary, as Dano said there. But it is, however, necessary for this version. Um, because this is the this was the, the the version that they sent off to Giants um, and the reason you need the AA process kit is I think it was for the fuel tank if I wasn't if I'm not mistaken something to do with the uh, automatic unloading of your fuel tanker into the you know if you reverse your trailer up to here usually you'd have to press I or R or whatever to refill this tank here but in this version with the AAA processing kit you basically just reverse your trailer straight up and uh, it'll automatically do it the version that is on the mod hub for the contest took me and Pro Farmer about Pro Farmer 40 about three months the version took about another month to get it working right there's a lot and there's lots more scripting yeah um, Believe me when I say this, guys. They've they've basically like given the whole map a facelift with some new textures, um, and obviously there's there's a lot more things which I've not shown you in this episode um, or this let's play. But if you want to go see what the map offers, um, please go and have a look at the live stream that I did. Um, on the multiplayer server with Pro Farmer and Yorkshire Dano, along with a few of the other guys, um, and it was kind of like a walkthrough tour, uh, showing you guys what everything is and how it works and stuff. Um, but one thing I am looking forward to getting getting to do on this map is the sugar beet, because of the uh, the massive sugar beet plant like cell point thing. That is awesome. So stay tuned for that one guys and we'll you'll see that in an in one of the episodes. Neon Wolf says uh, got to go, thanks for entertaining me. No, you're more than welcome dude, thank you for joining us and uh, take care and we will see you soon in the next stream. Bye dude. Wonder where Lost Conflict got to. Has he got lost? Or is he still lurking in the stream somewhere? But I did I did hear him saying that he's been out of commission, so he might be on the ill side, I'm not too sure. Get a cup of tea down your neck and a uh, and uh, a lem sip, you'll be alright. Get some rest. Some bales around here. Hopefully, this is going to be the last few that we need to collect. So then I can call it a night on this stream. Because I think two hours and ten minutes for my first solo stream on my own is not too bad. Obviously, I have to uh, thank you guys for uh, keeping me going, keeping chat going. Okay, DJ, thank you, dude. One thing we do need to do, however, before uh, we do go this evening is get that combine over towards the other gate. And so I think that's all the bales that we've got there. Unless I've missed one or two, I don't know. If I have, oh well. But yeah, it's been epic. It's been fun, I've enjoyed myself, I hope you guys have too. Um, we'll, uh, just run this last load back to the farm and then call it a day. So yes guys, we've harvested field one, we've um, bailed the headlands on field one. 
And then tomorrow we're gonna do some plowing and cultivating and fertilizing work on field one using cosplay. Everything's gonna be used through cosplay, so you're gonna see me um, doing a few trips back to the main yard here with uh, the fertilizer spinner. Just in case the fertilizer spinner runs out, at least then the uh, the driver of the cost plate, well, the, the, the tractor driver knows that he that there's a, a cost that he can then come back to the main yard and refill himself with some more uh, some more fertilizer. And then obviously he will then head back to the field and um, carry on where he where he left off. I don't want to go too far as I'm knocking the others over. Put them there, and I'll pull out like that, and we'll fold him back up. And then we'll put that up. There you go, like that. And then what I'll do, guys, is uh, I'm just going to park this tractor up around the corner here. And then we're going to jump into... We're going to jump into... I'm going to... Tight squeeze. I'm going to make it... Don't want to hit the bail. Oh, that was a tight squeeze. But we made it, we've made it, we made it. That was a tight fit. And that's what she said. Ah. Right, so let me just park this tractor up here. We'll have to give them a wash next time. And uh, we'll jump into the Hilux and I'll take you guys over to the Sugar Beet place. Turn lights off. Yep, everything's good. Is that still on? No. So just, uh, I can actually turn this off now. So yeah, you can turn this on and off. And obviously, everything will still be there when you turn it back on. So I do like that. It just basically tells you how much of whatever you've got in your silos. Right, so we want to head to um, I think it's the Hang on a minute That's it on that map for some reason That's the spinnery That's the grain yard I think it's down here actually Actually, I'll just jump down here for the time being and I'll just do it like this. I'm stuck in here now. Oh, get out. Get we're out. So yeah, this is uh, this is like the biogas heating plant where you dump your chips off or you can bales and things you can put them straight in here. Um, but yeah, it's part of the placeable industrial park. So if I come out here and I go around here, you've got another bit of the map which isn't actually on the map and what I'll do is I'll stop here and I'll just zoom up like that and what the map creators have done very generously has given us three large areas for which we can put you know any placeable machine like any placeable objects or anything we can put we can put them there ourselves um, you know it kind of makes it a bit, a bit more like we have a bit more like freedom, you can say. Um, so yeah, that's the wood chips. That's the uh, like the cell point for your grain and stuff over there. These are fertilizer tanks and water tanks. Then you've got your uh, mixed mixing uh, stations down here. That's your TMR, your total max total max rations, total mixed rations for your cattle. And then you've got your um, power food for your your pigs then over here you've got the seed master 2k17 so 2017 so basically what you do is you put your seeds in and um, 
There you go. You put grain in here, so any grain, and then you put some fertilizer in here, and then over time, this will will make what's known as dressed seeds, and then you can come along and take it and put it in your field. So that's that bit. That's the riverside grain. Um. That's where we want to go. Up here. Okay. I think it, yeah, this is where I want to be. So this is the massive sugar beet operation here on Dowland Farm. It's the, U the Yorkshire Sugar Stores. And basically you'd come in, you'd pull up here, you get weighed. You then proceed round here to this bit. And then you unload here, but this, look at this guys, this is the cool thing. Look at it, look at this place, it's just epic. So you drop, this is like the sell point, so you drop your sugar beets off here, you then come back round and go back that way around and get weighed again. And then that's, I think, how they would then, in real life, that's how you would get the, you know, make the money out of it because they they take the full weight and then the empty weight and then they pay you for the difference basically um, but yeah as far as I know this entire operation here was handmade they had to physically model it all themselves by separate parts there, was, there wasn't just like one big placeable that they could go and find and it worked that had to be physically built by hand themselves so make the tank, then put the sugar beets in, fill it with the water, etc. Um, no, I can't get out of it, you know. There you go. And there's, like, the big board and everything that basically tells you, you know, where it comes in and stuff. I can't get my mouse up now. But yeah, it comes through and then it goes through all the, like, different bits and pieces. Um... So yeah, basically that just gives you a brief description of how it all works. Um, then I, it was round at the potato bit, uh, which is obviously not at this one, but the potato storage bit is actually like where you would offload it, it then takes it onto a conveyor belt and uh, the cell point this is, and it then cleans them and then puts them into the, the crates and stuff, and that's all animated down there for people to see. So that's always nice. Um, but I think for tonight, everybody, I think that's where I'm going to leave it. So, once again, guys, for those of you who are on Twitch, thank you very much for watching. And to those of you on YouTube, thank you all very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this live stream, please hit the like button. And if you are new to the community, so I'm desperately trying to grow the community to a thousand subscribers so that you guys can see me raging out on some farming simulator forestry and logging. So with all that said, everybody, thank you so much for joining me this evening. It's been an absolute pleasure. One thing I will be doing before we go, though, is I promised Martin that I'd be uh, playing a song. So let me just go and get it for you. Okay, so what we'll do guys is I'm gonna end on that song. Um, how long have we got of this one left? Because we've still got a bit to go on that one. Right, well I might as well just uh, make my way back down to the farm here then. Uh, actually, I'll show you the potatoes quick. Is it? You come in, you offload them there, it goes into there. Takes all the 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 waste puts it into here and then you can see it going along the conveyor belts and all into the crates here so that's the sell point for the potatoes <clears throat> and uh, that obviously gives you another screen of how it works um, all the processing and things like that so yeah that's about it from me tonight everybody said that about three times now 
So uh, what I might do is I might just throw you guys into the goodbye screen and just change the song over anyway. Um, oh, there's a train coming. I remember doing this as a kid, you stand right under it, especially the old steam trains and it used to puff up the black smoke and then you run to the other side and watch it going through. I used to do that all the time as a kid. It's fun. That was good funny. I don't want to go there, we'll go to the... Go to the cows then. Get me back to my yard. Oh, we better close this gate here before the chickens get out. John, I'm leaving now, so I'll see you on the farm tomorrow. I'll see you later. I'll just go back to John there. So yeah, that's going to be it guys. Thank you all very much for watching. I'm going to throw you guys into the other mon into the other screen now. Uh, so I'm going to do that. And put you over there. And there you go. So, while well, we're just waiting for this one to finish. I'm saving the game. So that we don't lose our uh, progress for tomorrow. And then I'll come out of farming sim. So how far have we got now? Okay, we've not got long left guys. And then, like I said, I'll be going. So yeah, the song that we are going to end on tonight everybody when this song's finished is a song by JJD and Electromania and it is called Free and it's you can find it on NCS No Copyright Sounds website on YouTube so yeah here we go so take care everybody I will see you all later and I'll see you tomorrow at half past 8 UK time for another episode on Dowland Farm V2. See you all later. Bye.